you made a mistake underestimating what you've taken on hey youtube this is sir Ram here with another minecraft bedrock survival series today we're going to go over a couple of small things we got a new welcome center you can see behind me we'll go over that in a second and then we have three micro machines to add from the last video let's get started so as you can see the overall size is a little bit bigger than the other one the other one was too cramped and we made out a little bit more luxurious materials instead of wood we did the gold and glass this time if we start upstairs it's pretty much the same as it was before just a little bit larger again when you start the game you'll start right here on this block with the pink light coming out of it and we got a new sign right here we changed the stairway design a little bit to fit the uh, the new, new system here and we left the closet where it was and the same we left the doorway where it was and the two nitwits that welcome you we got Tweedledee and Tweedledum obviously we made this bigger you can see more stuff outside we added a couple more exits entrances we have this one that lines up with the enchanting room and then one that just goes out into the back and it lines up with the front door we didn't put a door on this side because we have our map on the outside and with the closet right here, it just kind of gets in the way. Then we changed the entrance to the mine here, made a little L shape going down. The main reason for that was because when we used to come up right here, I always get stuck on this glass block when I come up and it really wasn't square. You kind of had to jump up a block or two. So now everything is even. It's all automatic doors, so you don't have to worry about opening or closing anything. And then also, if new people start and they're not a member, they are stuck in this building. They cannot go anywhere. Where before they could go down the mine, go down into our, our nether hub and travel all around. Now with this fence and this gate right here, they cannot do that because, like, these uh, pressure plates here will not activate for somebody unless you're a member. They can't open any chest. They can't get anything out of the closet. They can't open the doors to get out. They are trapped inside this building until I give them membership. We kept the floor design the same as before, and the ceiling is basically the same. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the welcome center now let's start on the micro machines last time i did the video i missed one micro machine and that is inside of our storage area and i built two new ones since that video uh, all the micro machines are done now for this world so let's get going and look at them This micro machine that is up here was one of the very first ones that I built. And since it's not out in the open, I forgot about it for the video. But it is automatic sheep shear and it has all the different colors. And with our storage system, this is kind of a prototype for our new one. We have like all the colors in in a row, so the the wool for the sheep will go automatically in here. And then we have our dyes, concrete. This is supposed to be terracotta. I uh, haven't mined very much of that yet. And then glass, which uh, this one we don't have any of. I think there's some in this one, the green. But basically, we just take regular glass, grab some dye, and make whatever color glass you want. Then our next micro machine is a chorus fruit farm. This is a Java design, so it doesn't work real good in bedrock. Um, so when I do build the one on the, on the realm, it will be a bedrock addition to this one. 
Uh, let's go over it. I'll show you how this one is supposed to work. So basically, what you do is you put a minecart down here, and you would hold the fruit, and then hold the button down, and as the rail cart would go along, you would place the fruit, and then until it grew up, you would just continue riding this back and forth like this. And then after a certain amount of time, this timing unit right here, will activate these dispensers, which will shoot arrows down and break all the fruit and the flowers. And then you're supposed to be able to get enough flowers back so that you can replant. But for some reason, it doesn't the blocks properly. And it doesn't it just doesn't produce like it's supposed to so and also trying to hold your button down here does not always work properly go back and forth so there's two flaws in this Java design in the bedrock world and then the last micro machine which actually works is my concrete maker right here and I'll show you how this works So as the sign says, it's a concrete maker. You just stand right here and place the block against this one and it automatically goes. And then when a row gets full, it will push it out here and then you have to manually break it. We do not have a blast chamber on this unit. It's just a concept piece to fit in this world. In the actual realm one, we will have a blast chamber on it, so it'll harvest it for you automatically. So this is Sir Rem, over and out for the final micro machine edition of Bedrock Survival.